Yo, what is up YouTube? We are back with another Warzone Pro Tips video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the map, the mini map, and the heartbeat sensor. How to use these correctly, plus using your game sense and map knowledge to know where people are and pinpoint your enemies exactly. Let's hop into it. Okay, so to start this video off, I do wanna talk about some basics. Um, if you don't play this game too much or you don't really pay attention, you don't, you don't really worry about playing competitively, um, there are a few things with the minimap that aren't so apparent when you first get on. Uh, so let's talk about some of those. So here I have a picture of the minimap. Um, this is someone is playing in Plunder. I just took this from Google because it, it was a, the first one that I found and it was actually pretty good. Um, so let's look at it. All right, so you can tell that they are the orange arrow uh, and you could also see the enemies around them. So the enemies around them, um, there's a guy here, a dude here, and a dude here. All of these people do not have any arrows above them or below them. You see how this guy, he has an arrow above him, and this dude, he has an arrow below him. So what this means with these three dudes with no arrows above or below, this means that they are on the same elevation as him. So say you could use this and say if you were on a building, you pop the UAV and you saw a ping without an arrow, that means that they are on the same floor as you in that building. So if you're ever watching a streamer and they pop UAV and they know exactly what floor somebody's on, that's why. So if you take these other guys, for example, with the arrows, this can either mean when you have an up arrow, that either means that they are up in elevation in terms of being in a building or, or you know, they climbed a ladder somewhere or they're in the sky, like, a, like they came from the gulag, something like that. For people that are below you, that means that they can't be in the sky uh, because they are below you and you're not in the sky. So that just means that there's a dip. And he, this part on the map, there is a little dip here that this person is in. So let's use these uh, these little basics that we know and, and see what we could do uh, to apply them to the actual map while playing. All right, so the way that this video is gonna work is we're gonna do four clip reviews and each one gets increasingly difficult to read. Read as in, you know, tell where everybody's at, make sure that you're in a position to not die, essentially. So in this first clip, I'm playing solos, uh, I pop UAV and I have somebody pinging on this side of the map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my big map uh, and when I open that, I zoom out and I'm gonna zoom back in on this dude. This dude is pinging up here again and it'll resing a ping recent a ping real quick. Uh, I did it very quickly. Let me back up just a little bit. And what I've done is I zoomed in on him and then I pinged him. Uh, this makes it super easy. Uh, if you don't have too much, you know, map knowledge or something like that. And you know, I have a ton of map knowledge. I play this game day in, day out and I still ping people. So it is just something that good that you should do um, is I ping the building that he is specifically. Once I ping the building, I turn to the building and I see exactly what we're dealing with. This guy is who we're dealing with. Keep in mind that this dude is an up arrow right now. That means that he is, well, he's either in the second floor or he's a gulag. Uh, he's coming from the gulag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bank on the fact that he is in the second floor. If he is in the gulag, then he's not a threat to me. It does waste a little bit of my time, but I'm not really worried about that. It, but what you should be worried about are the threats, you know, the immediate threats to you. So him being in the sky is not an immediate threat to you. The threat is whether or not he's in that building. So I'm gonna come over here, I get an angle, and he does peek me through the window. He is peeking me through the window right now. So what I do is I hop out. My gun is at chambered, so I let him shoot me a little bit. And then we, we come over here, we rotate around, and we kill the dude. But we know exactly where he is because of that UAV ping. Makes it super easy. Uh, let's hop to another clip, though, right after we smoke this guy. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so this one takes a little bit more game sense uh in knowledge of the map that you're dealing with so this one is a clip with the heartbeat sensor what we're gonna do is we hop in our bertha this rose skin almost kills me out of this bertha so you know i know he's a shooter i know what i'm dealing with um so i'm gonna rotate all the way around i get down to one shot so really should have died there basically um i pull all the way around though he doesn't shout me i'm really unsure at this point i haven't seen him since he shot me uh he went he rotated somewhere that um I'm not in the know of. So I rotate, and this is a, um, a tactic that I use, I showed in the vehicles video, where I don't pull up directly on him, especially because I have to heal. I pull up to the building beside of him and see if he'll push me. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to kill someone when they're pushing you and you're on that defensive end. Um, all right, so right here, I heartbeat sensor. I get the ping on my left side. I pull it down as soon as I, you know, as soon as I see it. So on the left side, this means that if you scroll in on the map here, 
that either he is A, in the very corner of the hanger inside, or B, he's outside of the hanger on the corner. You got to think of your threats. If he is inside of the corner, then he's no threat to you because he doesn't have an angle on you. You look out the window and you see nothing. What you need to do is you read the situation. You're like, hey, you know, he could be inside, but I'm going to bank on the fact that he's outside because if he's inside, it doesn't mean anything to me. So I'm going to wide peek this left side angle because if he's outside, boom, I have him dead. If he's inside, then I child it the right way, you know, and I, we, we reread the situation. In this situation, I see the ping, I chow him on the outside, and I end up killing him on the outside because I banked on the fact that he was outside. Keep in mind, if he was inside, it wouldn't have changed anything. We, we peeked that corner, he's not there. We heartbeat again, see where he's at, and then we read it from there. So let's hop into another clip. All right, so let's talk about pings when you don't have a UAV, a heartbeat, um, just when you're using your minimap. So on the minimap, you can already see at the beginning of this clip, I'm getting this red ping at the top left of my minimap. Sometimes it glitches and it'll show you these pings when, you know, they don't even exist. You look over there, there's nothing. Uh, but this is one of the cases where the ping is legitimate and it's because the person is not using a suppressed weapon. So if you listen closely, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the actual clip, but you can hear them shooting. Uh, you could also see them pinging again on the map over here. So what I do is I aim in on my map, I ping the Jeep that is right beside the uh, the player. I do it super quickly, but you can see how they're very close to the Jeep. So I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna ping the Jeep. Uh, and I look over there immediately and boom, you know, I get an easy kill. Just because I used my mini map and I was like, hey, there's somebody over here. That's easily something you could overlook because you're trying to deal with things that are like immediate threats to you. Uh, but when you could be, you know, picking off people from a distance, stuff like that with your sniper. So let's get into another clip. All right, so this clip is really gonna test um, the ability uh, to do all of these things at once. I don't need to use my heartbeat sensor in this clip because I do have a UAV up. That's one thing, you know, it's really redundant. If you have a UAV up, you don't need to use your heartbeat because, you know, you've already got that heartbeat pinging like hundreds of meters away. Um, so we're gonna run up this hill. On my UAV now, I have four people. These people have been fighting, so I know that they're not all on the same team. Also, oh, we are in a quads game. So theoretically, they could all be on the same team, but they're not. Um, so what I do know is that there is one person in the middle of the street to me. These pings are kind of hard. Uh, the resolution is, is kind of not that good. So I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to read them properly. Uh, this person is on my elevation furthest to the left. The person a little bit to the right is down arrow. Uh, the person to the right of that is down arrow. The person to the right of that is down arrow. So that means one person's on my eleva uh, elevation immediately and all three of the other dudes are down. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it properly. Keep reading it. Uh, you want to constantly be looking at your mini map. You can see my eyes. Um, I'm constantly, you know, re make sure, making sure that I'm reading the mini map properly, because if you push in there with, you know, with the information and you don't use it, then you're just, you know, you're being dumb. Uh, you got to use the information when you have it. And, you know, when everybody's unghosted, that's when you have the most information. Um, so I'm looked down trying to find people. I can see that what this dude is crossing back on this side of the road again. And I've got two people on my elevation, one dude down arrow. So know that one person's on my elevation. I go and I peek him. As soon as I kill this guy, look at my eyes. Up to the minimap again, and then I see th these people down low are going to try to come chow me now. So I get one. Other dude goes beneath the ridge. I know that he's broken. I know that they're both stacked on top of each other. So A, he's either healing or he's rezzing. And then I get my kill using all of these arrows properly. And I even know where the full is because he's on my minimap. Uh, and that last dude was my teammate. Now you could even go further because there's one dude on my minimap again, immediately in front of me, but you gotta remember to, you know, use your use your mind a little bit. Uh, this dude is up arrow, but you know, he just spawned in. So that means he's coming from the gulag. Uh, using all these, you know, tactics, you'll, you'll get a lot better with reading the minimap, uh, but it's super simple once you have it down. There's also people on this building over here, all up arrows and you know you know exactly where they are in a building like this when you see an up arrow they could either be in the stairs or on the top these guys happen to be on the top remember you think about those immediate threats if they're in the stairs they're not a threat to you if they're on the top they're a threat all right so that marks the end of the video guys i hope you did like how it was put together today if you have any tips or suggestions on how to do further videos differently let me know in the comments i really do like to take those into consideration when i'm making these because you know i'm not the one watching these as much it's it's you guys so you know let me know how you want me to make them uh, today's video was recommended by the gremlin in twitch uh an absolute beast he gave me that video idea and hopefully it went to his standards we'll see i'll make sure i ask him after but again if you guys did like it make sure you drop a like and a comment we'll be back next week for another warzone pro tips video peace